Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of God of War. In our last episode, we actually defeated Baldur in a very emotional, very, like, battle of attrition type fight. And then Freya, of course, was just torn to pieces, and she kind of cursed us in a way. Threatened she will be back to pretty much put all of her rage against us. But she seemed all evil at the end. And Not now, evil. we're working our way toward you the end game. Son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, it's bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. Let's get she you only hoped to away, spare man. him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Tell me who made those. <clears throat> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I hadn't considered that. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. That's awesome. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. 
But if someone were to find- My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Wow. Watch the head till we return. That's awesome. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the guardian?
I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Walder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Walder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. She want to end up here? Do you with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. The great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, Yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. if you want to go home. I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Such a tremendous game. <laughs> Mir's just sitting on the floor. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Explore with Atreus. Continue exploring. Complete dwarven favors. Free dragons. Travel to Muspelheim and Niflheim. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyrie. Awesome. Yeah, we will definitely be doing the rest of these like side quest things. So we'll, I think we have like one or two more dragons to free. We have we didn't really explore anything in Niflheim or Muspelheim, so we have that to do, and we do have to defeat all the Valkyrie still. Now the episodes will continue. Probably at a slightly slower rate as we also start a new game soon. Because the God of War playthrough is pretty much wrapped up. Just as a couple loose ends. But we will get the rest of those added to the series. 
overall just a, a great time. Such a great game. The music, tremendous. Graphically looks amazing. Easily a top 10 game from the PS4 generation. New Game Plus allows you to start a new game while maintaining your equipment. Such a great story. more snow, and then the end of the bloody world, in that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this a hundred more winters at least. Change something. Prophecy did I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. <laughs> Stop seeing that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end time. How dare you? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also to not die. Or if you're <laughs> not heading home, same advice. Awesome. Yes, that's a terrible pity. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Might have a couple holes to patch. <laughs> it's gonna be a long winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. the foreshadowing ending. Special, special times ahead. Can't wait. 
but like I said earlier, our plan is to still hopefully continue to get some... I think there's a couple Valkyrie left, a couple more Dragons, and just a couple more little areas to explore. I'll try to wrap that all up. But I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.